I'm on a record on many occasions on this show and throughout my career. I believe America is the land of second chances. I think when people make mistakes, you know, you apologize, you move forward. That's life. It's the way it goes. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's infallible. And when it comes to calling for people's jobs, it is something that I don't normally do. Oh, boy. Because I am of the mindset that I don't want anybody unemployed. I don't want anybody not getting paid. I don't want somebody being uh, an anchor to the American folks. You're unemployed, you ain't making any money. Somebody's gonna have to take care of you. I I'm a capitalist and proud of it. Having said all of that, none of that applies to Mike Shanahan because he's in the middle of a five-year, $35 million deal. So he's not broke. As a matter of fact, the money that he's getting paid with this contract alone means that he's gonna be fine no matter what. So with that being said, this man needs to go. Now? Now, today. If, if I am Daniel Snyder, who, by the way, dresses sharply Always. and has his glasses, I would go just like this, take off my glasses, after I summon Shanahan to my office, and I would say to him, you have three minutes to convince me why you should still be the coach for this team. You have three minutes. We are three and six. We could potentially make the playoffs at nine and seven, which means that what we would have to do is we'd have to go six and one over our last seven games, mm -hmm. but until it doesn't happen, it's possible it can happen. Mm -hmm. We have a young phenom whose athleticism is off the charts, whose IQ is up there, you know, who, who can throw the football with anybody, who makes things happen. And at the same time that you say that, that, that I point out these things, okay? I got you the GM you wanted. I got you, I let you hire who you wanted to with your coaching staff. I let you pick these wide receivers. By the way, I doled out all of this money that you wanted. I still got dudes out there fighting because despite the fact that our defense is awful, we are in a lot of these games. And here you are saying this. We lost to the Atlanta Falcons by seven. Mm -hmm. We lost yesterday. Okay, that's fine. But you're tanking it? You're giving a concession spe speech with seven games left? Why are you here? You got three minutes. You got three minutes to convince me why I shouldn't fire your butt right now. Why should you be the coach? What the? What? What has Mike Shanahan done? <laughs> what has Mike Shanahan done since John Elway retired? Since Terrell Davis walked away? He's done, he's, was, done, he's, done, he's done. He's done. He's done nothing. He is 14 and 27, 13 games below 500 mm -hmm. since he arrived in the nation's capital. This is an atrocity, an atrocity, because this man has the audacity, the unmitigated goal to sit here and talk about, oh, and we got to start evaluating talent for next season. Who the hell told you you got until next season? Who do you think you are? This man is a waste of time. So you're going to eat He needs the, to be gone now. You're going to eat and the rest of his $35 three, million? You know what? I'm Snyder. I'm Sorry, a billionaire. I can do it. I'm not only on the Redskins. I own. I used to own Six Flags. Yeah. I got people selling that off. I'm stations. making profits. Radio states. I'll figure it out. I got write-offs coming up. You understand <laughs> what I'm saying? I mean, listen, I'm a billionaire. I'll make it happen. I don't like it. I don't want to eat it. But excuse me, Daniel Snyder has made financial errors in the past. <clears throat> this would not be an error. Why? are you here? You would have, I'm, I swear to you, Skip, I'm not exaggerating. If I'm exaggerating about anything, it's the fact that he would have three minutes. It might be 60 seconds, but I'll say three minutes because I'm in a good Wait. mood. Can, it would be three minutes. Can, Why are you here? <laughs> Why are I, you here? Can I role play now? Can I be Mike Shanahan? Go ahead. You just, you, you just Go ahead. I got Go. three minutes. You got three minutes. I, I'll take like 30 seconds. Damn. I was just trying to light a fire under those dead heads that I got in that locker room right now. We fell to three and six. I want to put the fear of God or the fear of me in every player in that locker room mm -hmm. that they could be gone at midseason. Okay. okay. I'm trying to motivate my team because this division is still winnable. Okay. It's winnable. See, see this? And Dan? Yeah. You know what this is? <laughs> no. This is what is phone. it? This is a phone call. Oh, I don't have one of this those. This is a phone. Yeah. All right? And you know what this phone does? It dials my security that looks and is built like him. <laughs> I want you. Out of here. You've come here to my security? office right now. He'll show up in 60 seconds. 
I need you to get rid of him now. Get out. I don't even want to look at you no more. You know why? You picked those deadheads. Oh, it's still Shanahan, though. Yeah, you you're picked still Shanahan. those you deadheads. You picked them. Bruce Allen this is picked your, them. This is your, oh, please don't give me no Bruce Allen. Bruce Allen ain't there if it were not for Mike Shanahan. Don't give oh, me no. that. He got the people he wants. This is on his watch. This is a two-time Super Bowl champion that everybody want to walk around act like he's the second coming of God, okay, who has done nothing since he arrived in the nation's capital. He got his son working for him, okay? You alienated other quarterbacks. Damn, you damn. didn't get it done. I picked RG3. Do I get any credit right. for that? Excuse me. Got to win both. Whoa, whoa. whoa you whoa. picked RG3? <laughs> <laughs> who wasn't going to pick him? I, I, I traded up to get him. Time, 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 time. I went up because I no, knew no. how good he was going to be. You traded up to get him. Yeah. But everybody wanted him in number two. Everyone. I, I, I no pulled brain. it off, man. I went up and got him. You know him. what? He's going to be better time than Time out, time out. My last better comment before we go to him, my yeah. security. <laughs> my last comment is this. It's very, very simple. You know what that is, Skip? That's why you're leaving out of here and still getting paid. Get the hell out of my office. Goodbye. You know, you know the Simple. difference. You know what's going on here. Before Mike Shannon was a Redskins coach, we all considered him a great coach, right? Mm. Uh oh. Not me. Well, not many me. people did because the two Super yeah, Bowls. I'm just and, telling you, and, not me. And he was I didn't feel that system. way about it. I've never felt that way about him. I played for the Redskins for four years. We were 0-5 my rookie year with Marty Schottenheimer. Not once did that man ever say we're evaluating next year. We're evaluating this practice, this meeting. Every great coach that I played for, Tom Coughlin, guys I played against, Bill Belichick, they talk about the moment. You stay in the moment. No message that he has sent to his team with this, with what he said. What are you telling them? That we're giving up on the season, that we're tanking it. If I'm a veteran on that team, I'm holding a meeting. Guys, we're playing for one another. We're not playing for him. I can care less if he's here Stop. or not. Stop. I have two questions. If you were on, before that meeting, would you address Shanahan one-on-one? -on -one? The team leaders, if we had a cancel, yes. Right? Okay. Another question. All right, the other question. You talked about these great coaches. You consider my, Mike Shanahan a great coach? I consider Joe Gibbs a great coach, too, until he came back to the Redskins, and I figured out he was outdated. Mm. <clears throat> well, so what do you so think? I, 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 I'm, I'm saying, saying Mike Shanahan is, are you saying, I'm saying he's dated. He's outdated? He's, he's Works outdated. Works for me. Boy, not I, great, outdated, I don't I, care. I, I haven't seen outdated using RG3 this year. I think he's been, until yesterday, and you talked about the red zone, until he called a pure rollout on fourth down that was the play of the game for the Redskins with no pass option, that was the worst. What about having RG3 as a receiver where he gets popped by Ryan Clark? So How about that? To me, it's a no-brainer what RG3 is going to do. With any coaching staff, he would have been outstanding this year, I believe. That's what kind of athlete and quarterback yes. he is. I look at my chance. messed it up. For the people that he surrounded RG3 with, all the money the receivers they spent, they're not helping him out. They're, and again, I'm going back right to the now. team leaders. I'm going back to the team leaders. When you hear guys question, I don't know what our coach is thinking about. Guys don't have much longer in the National Football League, and you're worrying about playing younger guys, evaluating younger talent. I've been a part of that. That's not a good feeling. You don't want the U-Haul truck backed up in the middle of the season. You want to keep fighting. They are not mathematically out of the playoffs. Oh, no. How, how in the heck can you sit I, there I, and I, say I'm going to leave it alone by simply saying this. I don't know football the way Mike Shanahan does. I measure results. The combination of your putrid, pathetic results combined with the fact that you would have the nerve to give up what amounts to a concession speech <clears throat> in week nine of an NFL season <clears throat> is atrocious. You did it. You know why? Because you know you get paid no matter what. If Shanahan had to worry about getting paid, he never would have said that. He said it because he knows under in no circumstances will he not fail to get his money. It's pathetic. He's outdated. Get him out of here.